I read eight books this month and I also managed to complete my 52 book reading challenge a month early. Yes! Hey book lovers, Victoria here and you are watching my books and me. Today I'm going to be talking about the books that I read in November and as I said in my intro, I read 8 books this month which I'm so happy about but I also managed to finish my 52 book reading challenge um, a whole month early which I'm so excited about as well. So let's get into it. The first book I read this month or finished this month anyway was The Accident Season by Maura Fowley Doyle. I gave this one I think it was 4 or 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. It is about a family who suffers the accident season every October, um, and they, where they become very, very accident prone. Where you know they'll break bones, they'll bruise themselves, they'll break things around them, and in some years, some people have actually died. Um, and um, Kara realizes that this year is going to be a lot worse. They are in the last few days of October, and something really bad is going to happen. And I can't remember what happens. And to make things a lot more interesting, Kara realizes that this girl called Elsie is in all her photos and she seems to just be always around, except now she's not. The, when they try to look for her to find, to get answers to questions, she's not around. And it's very, very intriguing um, indeed. I really enjoyed it. This has received kind of mixed reviews, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the writing style. I enjoyed where the story went. Um, I could see, obviously, um, some of the plot, what the plot twist was going to be. Um, I could actually predict what the plot twist was going to be at the end, but there were parts of it that I didn't really realise and I found really interesting. And I just, I really, really enjoyed this story. It was really good. I definitely recommend it. Obviously this is a Halloween-y kind of book, but I definitely think you can read it any time of year. It is really good. Then the next book I read this month was Queen's Song by Victoria Aveyard, and this is a prequel novella to Red Queen. I was actually going to wait for the Cruel Crowns novella bind up to come out next year in order to read it, but I kind of couldn't wait. I don't know why. I was sort of thinking about it, and I was like, I'm just going to download it. I'm just going to get the ebook. So I did. I really enjoyed it. This is about uh, Maven, wait no, about Cal mother, um, whatever her name was, about Cal's mother, and there, and how she fell in love with Prince Tiberius, and how his uh, Queen's trial was cancelled because he was in love, and how she sort of had to fight for her place, um, fight for her place and her crown, because all of the other Queen's trial competitors didn't like that they couldn't compete. Most of them ended up being married off, but then Ilara was one of the very few left who wasn't married, and she started to mess with, um, whatever her name was. I cannot think of what her name was. I feel really bad. I read this at the start of the month. I can't really remember. Um, and it is just a really beautiful, full, and sad story. It looks at her diary entries about her life before she arrives at the palace, and then when she arrives at the palace and she meets Prince Tiberius and begins falling in love, and then after they're married, when she's pregnant, and when she has Cal, and then it ends on the very sad note of um, when she committed suicide. Um, so it is very sad. It is kind of full on in places, but I think but I think it is a really nice story and I, if you love Red Queen then you should definitely read this. And I ended up giving this, I think, four, four and a half, maybe even five. I think it was four and a half, star, four and a half out of five stars, I can't remember. I'll link below to all my reviews so you can check that out. Then the next book I read this month was another ebook and that was uh, To Kiss or Not To Kiss by Julie Mullins. Um, I started reading this, I think it was back in September when it came out. I was planning on reading it as soon as it came out so that I could review it. I never ended up doing that. I kind of got stuck near the end and just put it down. But this is a non-fiction memoir type book um, about 12 different first kisses that Julie has had and sort of how 
they've come about, how they've affected her, how they've affected a relationship and sort of what it means. It is really interesting. I definitely recommend that if you are into some cheeky romantic reads, then definitely read this one. I think there's meant to be a sequel. I'm not quite, I think there is going to be a sequel. I'm not quite sure, but definitely check out my, my review for this. I just think it's a nice, fun, romantic read if you are into that sort of stuff. Um, and I ended, I ended up giving this book three and a half out of five stars. The next book I read this month was Hello Goodbye and Everything in Between by Jennifer E. Smith. This was kindly sent to me by Hatchet Australia and I seriously, seriously loved it. It is set over a 12 hour period before um, Claire and Aiden have to go their separate ways to university. Um, Claire is going to the East Coast and Aiden is going to the West Coast and they have put off the entire summer whether they should break up or not. And they've kind of left it to this last night where they are doing sort of a bucket list, well not really, they're kind of going around town to places that mean a lot to them, whether it be where they had their first kiss or whether they first met each other, where they first spoke to each other, stuff like that. Um, and the night starts out really well but then it kind of turns a little bit sour and it just sort of shows them throughout the night trying to work out what they're going to do whether they break up now on their own terms or they break up in a couple of months when things are a little bit more difficult and I really enjoyed this it was just it was kind of a story about nothing but it was really good it felt very real um, and yeah I just really enjoyed it and I really enjoyed the side characters in this story you sort of initially don't get too much of them but then they really sort of just grow on you and they make their own little story and it just sort of runs alongside the main story. I also love that this had a epilogue in it and I really appreciated the epilogue because I wasn't really satisfied with where the story ended and then we had the epilogue and it was just, the epilogue was written really well and I just, I thoroughly enjoyed it and I definitely recommend anyone who enjoys a nice contemporary can check this one out. I think I gave this Four and a half out of five stars. Then the next book I finished this month was Prince Caspian by C.S. Lewis. This is the fourth book in the Chronicles of Narnia series. I really enjoyed this. I love the Prince Caspian movie and I really enjoyed this book. I mixed it between reading it and audio booking it, um, but I really enjoyed it. It takes place over, a th it takes place a thousand years after um, the Pevensies have been in Narnia, and which is only a year in our time, and they end up being dragged back to Narnia where they discover that Anania is a completely different place to what to what it was when they left it. The Talmarins are now in control and they have oppressed the magical community who and the old Narnians have gone into hiding. But there is a prince, Prince Caspian, who loves the tales of the old Narnians and when his uncle has a son, he realizes his life is in danger and he flees the castle in order to join some old Narnians. And fight back and he uses the help and with the help of the Pevensies who have regained their titles as king and queens upon stepping into Narnia, they reclaim Narnia from the Telmarins and put Prince Caspian as their king because he is the son of Adam. It's just a nice, fun, magical novel. I really enjoyed it. The thing that I, I just find sad about this novel though is the fact that it does take place 1,000 years after the original story. So everything is completely different within Narnia. All of your favourite characters that you've known are gone. Like, Care Paravel is destroyed. That's kind of sad. And I find it sad that at the end, like, Peter and Susan are just, you know, on the verge of adulthood. They're sort of grown out of the magic. And that's just kind of sad. But, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I think I gave it four and a half out of five stars. Maybe four stars. I seriously cannot remember. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it and I can't wait to continue on to the Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Then the next three books I read this month were part of a series um, and I read these way too quickly to be honest. But anyway, the first one is The Elite by Kirikas. I read this in about six hours from about uh, 11.30 to like 5 o'clock in the morning. But yeah, I really enjoyed this one. I was just really feeling in the elite. Blah, blah, blah. I was just really feeling in the mood mood to finish the selection series. At least continue it on. So I read this one. I really enjoyed this book. I think I gave this one five out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. I just, I don't know, but I do not find America annoying at all. I just really enjoyed this story. I just could not get enough of it. That's why I had to keep reading it. Ah, so good. 
then naturally I continued on with the one by Kirikas. This one took me a little bit longer. I didn't rush through it, um, but yeah. Um, again, I really enjoyed this one. I gave it five, five out of five stars. The ending was just so intense, and I wasn't expecting how it ended to happen. I am kind of annoyed that some people that I like died at the end. I didn't appreciate that, but anyway, I just really enjoyed where the story went. There were some plot twists thrown in that I wasn't expecting. I just really enjoyed it, and again, I didn't find America that annoying. I'm, I just, I don't know. And then I went on and I finished reading Happily Ever After by Kira Cat. This is the this is the novella bind up, which has the prince, the guard, the queen, the favorite, um, and a couple of other bonuses. So I really enjoyed this. I loved every single story. I think I gave this four and a half or five out of five. It was just, it was so good. It was a great way to sort of wrap up the first selection um, and I'm excited to continue on with the air. So they are the books that I read this month. I loved every single one of them. It was a very good reading month for me, although I, it's been about a week, a week and a half, maybe two weeks since I've actually read anything after reading Happily Ever After. Um, mainly because I have been busy, but mainly because I just don't know what to read. But anyway, hopefully I'll be able to read a lot in December as well. I'm very happy with what I read, like I said, and ah, just I'm on a selection high at the moment. It is ridiculous. Let me know if you guys have read any of those books because I would love to know what your um, your thoughts on it. Um, I will link below to my reviews of all these books so you can see my full thoughts on them and what my actual review rate star ratings were because like I said I'm not quite sure. It has been a while since I've read these books. I read most of them within the first two weeks of the month which I think is pretty darn good. Other than that, I'll see you guys very soon with my November TBR. Wait, wait, with my December TBR. Bye.